Hey everybody, T.O. from Art Geek Teaching. Today we're going to look at preparing to pour resin over our water slide decals. Coming up. So first thing I did was um, I just gessoed I think four or five cradled panels. They're the inexpensive ones and um, I used a roller so that they're nice and smooth and after that we move on to the next step. Okay, back to just a regular one, Dragonfly. I sealed it with the Blick matte fixative. Nothing else on it, so I haven't put any matte medium on it. Um, so I'm just going to transfer one of these to a straight cradle panel. Hasn't been sanded. The panel has one coat of gesso on it, and that's it. So we'll put this in here first. I don't like the way that it curls. It makes it a little bit more difficult to work with, but it seems like some of the curl comes out once it gets thoroughly saturated. So we're just gonna let that soak. And we'll see how much thinner it is without matte medium on top of it. Again, this has only been clear coated with a fixative. Okay. Here we go. Lifts right up. You can't really see that, but... know from yesterday we can go back in there and pull this so I'm going to pull this over you probably can't see that just going to clean this up so it covers all the whole thing so you can see I've got this where it's folded we're just going to come in here and lift it up unfold it and lay it back down Now, one thing I did not try, okay, this is pretty solid, no color coming up or anything. Um, so I wonder if I can get a little more aggressive with what I'm using to put it down. In other words, can I use a card or a catalyst or a brayer? Um, all the bubbles are out. Well, there's a big, big bubble. The bubbles do seem to come out pretty good with just your hands. See how tender. Okay, what I'm going to try to do, I'm going to get a brayer and I'm going to put a piece, is this dry? I'm going to put a piece of paper over this and just see if I can get some more of the bubbles out. This is just Blick palette paper, the cheap stuff. See if it makes any difference. I think it may just need water. Yeah, so let me do this. Does that make any difference? Oh! How 
about without it. Right side down. I think we're going to call that good. On the next one, what I'm going to do is wet the board first and see if that makes any difference. This actually um, looks like it's stayed down pretty well. And um, the tests that I really want to do on these, what I want to use these for is for resin. And I think it'll be just fine like they are for resin. I'll come back and trim off the edges, but I think everything else is going to be just fine. So we'll try another one. Once these rest for 24 hours, I can put some resin on them, or I think it says three hours on the thing. I'll have to look, but I'm going to set these aside to dry. Do another one. Okay, this is the same thing. No matte medium. It just has the matte fixative on it from Blick. Put it in the water. Get it totally saturated. And now this one, I'm going to grab a panel, I'm going to spray the panel, just spraying it with water. See if that makes any difference at all. Peel them off. Need to move them over some, it looks like. Which we did fairly easily. Now we'll see if these bubbles come out or if it. That works pretty darn good, and it's fairly fast. Wow, I like this stuff. It's my new best way to transfer. We'll see. Not done testing yet, but this stuff is looking really good. See how it holds up with. Now these don't have anything on them other than our matte medium. I mean, I'm sorry, our matte fixative. And so, um, we'll see if 
they hold up. I, I don't think it'll be any problem whatsoever with resin. We'll see what happens with encaustic on a couple of these. But um, man, that's a pretty good transfer. All right, we're gonna do these last two here, just uh, so I have some things to resin. We'll play with some resin in the next day or two. And I will do some more tomorrow so that I can play with encaustic. Got to spray it. Works better if you spray it. it really does. That might have been a mistake. <laughs> oh boy. With most emulsions, that would have been a bust. This stuff is pretty resilient. So I'm going to lift it back up. Scoot it over just a tad. I can't believe how tough this stuff is. And it lets me kind of reposition it, which is not normally a thing either, so. Bit of working time with this, not a lot, but craziness. It will rip if you stretch it too tight. I'm going to pour some uh, resin, and these guys, I just need to clean up. We left these on one of the other experiments. We left these uh, up and didn't, didn't tear them off. So with these, they need to be torn off and then glued down. And I think one of the things that I thought about is maybe just coming down in here and cutting, peeling that off so that... I have a way to actually um, glue down, quote unquote, glue down the material. So that's what we're going to do. I don't know if I have to do that. Um, and right away I can see that this is going to be ugly because this is not white. My gesso is white, but it's fine. I just don't trust it. I don't want the whole thing to delaminate. So, you know, this is all experimentation. We'll figure out the best way to do it as we move along. I think what's probably going to be best is to uh,
what's probably going to be best is to cut the decals out when I put them on the panels. So, well, next time, that's what we'll do. This time, we're going to experiment with this and see how bad it looks with resin over the top of it. It might be a no-go. You just don't know. I did not think you'd be able to see it that clearly. So that's interesting. And it sticks really, really well in some places and not very well in others. So that makes me wonder if I need to put some gesso on the bottom of it. So we're going to experiment with that. On a couple of them, we'll go ahead and put gesso, and on others, we won't. I mean, if it's stuck down, I think no, no reason to uh, pick it up, no reason to cut it up. If it's not, then I'd say let's go ahead and do something with it. Hmm. All right, so basically I'm going to do that to all four of these, and I'm going to get them cleaned up, and then uh, I'll prep them and probably pour some resin tonight so we could take a peek at it in the morning. If you have anything loose like this, you definitely want to take that off. I don't want that underneath my resin. So, let's see something. And get rid of those rough edges. Okay, and then I think what I'm going to do is uh, just float some float some gesso in here. Just randomly. And we'll see what happens that way. Need a pallet. Okay, so we're going to end up each one of them looking something like that. And uh, I'll prep the panels. I mean, I'm sorry, I'll prep the area and then we'll pour. So I'm just going to go ahead and do that to all of these. And we'll be good to go to start prepping the area for resin. <laughs> 